Okay, so here we're going to appreciate some of our body viz anatomy uh, software software suite. And the fun thing is, it's controlled by an Xbox controller, so I can move this thing around the screen and I can orient it into a lot of different directions. Here you can see we've got uh, a head or the cephalus, and we've made a section through the anterior uh, portion of, of the head in the coronal plane. Um, the fun thing about this is not only can we zoom in and zoom out, but we can change what we look at based on the density of that tissue. So for example here, we can see the brain, we can see the brain here, the two cerebral regions, we can see the nasal cavity, and this is a little bit of the temporal lobe that would be projecting forward off the side of the head, and there's some of the oral pharynx, okay? And so now what we're going to do is adjust so we can appreciate some of the other structures here. So now we're focusing, we've removed a lot of that soft tissue, and we can see some of that denser stuff, in particular uh, a giant tumor here that's got this subfalcine pattern of growth between the different sides of the different hemispheres of the brain. Um, the fun thing is we can really zoom in now and appreciate how this thing is vascularized. We can see that there's several significant vessels that are penetrating and feeding this thing and keeping it alive and going, right? And so you're very useful in uh, surgical planning, but you could see how it translates well to even demonstrating things like heart anatomy or um, other regional anatomy for even young people as well, where it's maybe not appropriate to go into the gross lab. They can still approach and understand this anatomy and all the beautiful topographical relationships that exist here 